morning guys it is Tuesday Tuesday morning this is our dancing girl summer I found that she does better if she goes first I don't know if she realizes she goes first but it just seems like she does and I know with the horses sometimes they get upset if they don't get to go first where's Bonnie She's still up on the roost, deciding that she's sleeping in. I'm like 15 minutes early today. Um, could not sleep last night. I hate it when I can't sleep. I got up several times. And the last time was like at 3. So I laid in bed. I was trying to find something to listen to. You know, like white noise. But I listened to like podcasts. And so then I started listening to this alien abduction stuff. Which, of course, freaks me out. And it freaks me out because there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, if you have people or creatures, whatever you, aliens coming from far away in spaceships, that, well, what are you going to do, really? If they want you, they're going to take you. They're going to do whatever they want to to you. That's the part that freaks me out. Not having a say and not being able to fight back or even run away. That's, that's scary. Because you're screwed. Anyway, so. That kept me up. And then my cat wanted outside. So he was scratching at the bedroom door. Just falling back to sleep at like 3.30. Good check. And then there's the cat. Scratch, 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 scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. So I got up. Got up before four. And a few like homesteading podcasts I follow. Didn't post anything new yesterday. I follow the crazy lamp lady because she does like goodwill hunting. I call it treasure hunting. When I go to the goodwill. If I don't find a treasure, I don't find a treasure. I get most of my work clothes from the Goodwill. Because nowadays people get like a couple, they have nice outfits and so they have an event or something and they buy something nice. And then it sits in their closet. And then they donate it when they clean out their closet. So, pick up a real, some really pretty shirts. This is all I was looking for. I've got several skirts. So, I like to wear skirts because I can layer them. Especially in the winter. I can wear long johns or, or like fleece leggings underneath my skirt. Which worked really well when I was a substitute teacher when I worked at Brimley. But um, the classrooms... Especially at Washington. Oh my god, are they hot? They're like, so I've been doing an egg. We're hatching eggs. We locked down today. And literally, I read the temperature when I'm in there. And it's like, oh, it's 77 degrees in here. Like, well, no wonder I'm hot. We keep our house at 65 or 68. So 77 is pretty warm. You heard that? Oh, the horse is acting up? The aliens come and get me. What is that? windy and all of the big doors are shut so they shouldn't be banging. Could be Baxter back there banging his head against the stall door. I'm going to start bringing the dog. So last 
night we were, I was in the kitchen baking cookies on a school night. Oh my. Um, we were out of cookies. And I'm not paying $6 for eight cookies at the store. You've got to be kidding me. I think for $8, I can buy all of the ingredients to make probably cookies for like six, six, well, let's see. Two cups of flour, coconut oil. Anyway, so if I buy the chips for $3 a bag, I could probably, I can make four dozen cookies for half the price of two, eight cookies at the grocery store. And there's no preservatives in them. They don't last long enough in our house. So, but what were we talking about before the door scared me? Wouldn't know that noise. If it were early, later in the day, I'd, ex I'd think it was my husband, but there's no way he's coming out here a little after six. Not gonna work. Anyway, oh, we were talking about the last night I was baking cookies, and Jack is in the bedroom, and I'm standing in the kitchen, which is by the door. Jack comes tearing out of the bedroom. Rah, 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 rah. I'm like, what is going on? And my husband's like, are you expecting somebody? I'm like, no. So I go look out the door. There goes the UPS stop. I'm like, what a good boy, Jack. He heard the, because the UPS guy will put the package on the door and just knock and walk away. Jack knew it. He's skinny again. He's not, well, I don't think he's old. He's only 10. But that could be old. A couple years ago, last year? Was it the 20th? Maybe even last year. Um, he started to lose weight. So we took him into the vet and they did blood work, couldn't find anything. So then they did an ultrasound, couldn't find anything. So then they wanted to do more work, blood work. So I don't understand why we didn't do that before the ultrasound. <clears throat> to me, that would have made more sense. Anyway, so when they did the blood work, they came back and said, well, the only thing we could find is that he's low on vitamin B and niacin, or folic acid. So they suggested that we supplement with that. And so we did, and he started gaining weight. Now, like, well, we could do a biopsy. My thought was, well, if you didn't find any masses or tumors, or anything weird with in a in an ultrasound? Why are you gonna cut them open? To me, that doesn't make sense. Why would you just cut me open? No, we're not just gonna cut them open and start poking our fingers around in there, going, "Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh, look at this!" No, that's not what we're doing. Right, Summer? We still have some in this one. Ah, 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 no. So. Yesterday, we got one of my parents and her son came last Friday, because we didn't have school Friday, and they chiseled out all of the ice and snow from in front of the greenhouse. We were able to get in the greenhouse, which was sweet of them and was very important, because we need to get in there. But it was 100 degrees inside the greenhouse yesterday. And I'm like, oh, Lord, that's hot. All right, Mama, what do you want? You want apple? Yeah? Is that good? I trimmed the front of their hooves last night, her and her sister. Yeah. Yes, Mama? There you go, she already went down to tease Artie that she's in heat. He's like, oh, boyfriend. No, I'm, you're not, no. You cannot get bread. You had two litters. You weren't supposed to have two. And that's why she's the one who gets knocked up all the time because Summer doesn't, or Autumn doesn't want to go down there to him, but this one's down there like, oh, boyfriend. Oh, boyfriend. Let me whisper sweet 
enough things in your ear. Let me whisper to you and tell you that I love you. I love you, she says. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is why she still has her collar on. Are you ready? Are you ready, sweet girl? All right, come on. Let's go. We're going to do more nail trimming later. Oh, how did you get that over your head? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let me get that off your horn. Gosh. Why you don't leave them on all the time? Did Bonnie come in? No. I don't see Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie, There you go. Hmm. I think she decided to be in heat with her sister. So everyone's in heat. Did your sister leave some food in there? I need to fill it up. Oh, she cleaned it out really well, didn't she? She sure did. Any 
you cooked them, I put them in nasty, disgusting chicken. Ew, that's so gross. No, I can't eat it. Absolutely disgusting. Nice thing about having a sink out here, I can wash my hands. We got Dawn out here, Windex. You don't use a lot of it. You just put just a hand soap in the water. I normally have a towel over there, but I don't right now. Clyde, do not pick on my goat. My hands are wet, Mama. I don't lick them. There's soap on them. Ew. <laughs> The weirdo, I've got to swim at a feed store. Grab some mineral salt for the goats. Out. I think I might have some in a bag. But they don't like it as well as they like the one that comes from tractor supply. Once they go outside, I get big salt licks and I put them out there for them. Which I would love to be able to do more of. We will see. So what happened to my container? Oh, it got run over by chicken. Not over. You wait your turn. It's crazy. Crazy. Can you not him? Such a sweet girl. Still don't understand why. Maybe they keep most of their weight on their back feet, and that's why the back feet don't grow as fast as the front feet. You don't look like you're on skis anymore. So that's a good sign. That front left one should be a little bit more. But because of the way I do it, it takes a little bit of time because I'm not... Be nice when they go outside and wear them down. They're not going to wear them down in here on the deep bedding. But the deep bedding does serve its purpose. It keeps them from getting so cold that the water freezes every night. I mean, it does freeze in end of January, beginning of February. Oh, and it's 20 below. That's my coffee. Not much you can do about water freezing. Mmm. Mmm. Coffee, Autumn. I like a coffee in there. Coffee with goat milk in it. Mmm. Yummy. When well, I go to my parents, it's so funny because I bring our well water because they don't want to drink city water. Well, they're on a well. But their water is funny tasting to me now. And I bring my own goat milk because I. Don't drink pasteurized milk. I only drink raw milk. So I'm like, I don't know if I could go on a really long trip. I'm so spoiled. With what I drink. And I don't rather not drink city water. Because I put fluoride in it. Which now they're going, oh, well, it, you lose IQ points when you're on fluoride water. Well, gee, huh, imagine that. It suppresses parts of the brain. And they put that in all of the city water. Back when I was a kid. So for the majority of my life. What? You're, no, you may not have this milk. This is my milk. That's your milk. You don't look like you're going to peck me kick you out of here. You go out in the rest of the barn with the other chickens. That's a project for this summer. So I saw the sign up for summer teachers, summer school teachers, and our count is down for this year for summer school, which is a shame because I could think of a lot of kids that could use summer school. 
And here's the problem is that, so we get the kids up to speed or reading level, and then they go home for the summer and they don't read all summer long. They don't read a thing. So if you're a parent and you don't have time to read to your kid, or let's just be honest about it, you're not gonna read to your kid, send them to summer school. Otherwise, they go backwards in their reading skills. And I'm not talking about high schoolers, I'm talking about first, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, where they're struggling emerging readers. If you don't read to them and they don't read to you, they'll lose it. You use it or you lose it. That's how our brain is. It will get delegated to the back of unimportant things and they'll come back to school at a lower reading level than when they left, but can tell me how to build all sorts of things on Minecraft. Yes. In some ways, technology is a blessing, and in some ways, technology has ruined society. I do not like all the aspects of technology. What are you doing to her? Do I want to know? Clyde. Hey, sweet girl. Do I have time for me just to sit here and pet you for a minute? Those are your children screaming. Yes, those are your daughters having a hissy fit. Mm -hmm. Sure, throw you in the back of the truck if the place caught on fire. Oh, sweet pea. Aww, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. I don't have any more salt. I don't have my glasses. I swore that that one bag was a bag of salt. Let me see. That's Diamantaceous Earth. I don't even know if I said that right. What's milk? What's this one? This is not a free choice mineral. What? Oh, this is selenium. No, nope, that's not a free choice mineral. Electrolytes. Medicated goat armor. I just worm one of them. Oh, honey bunches, I think I'm going to have to go to the store. I have a bag right here. What is this? Let's see. I need to have another bag in here. Prince Goat Mineral? What? Say it isn't so. It's not your favorite one. about this. That's a no. It's salty. No? What about your, oh, I know what you like. Would you like some pretzels? They're salt on pretzels. <laughs> you don't care they're a little stale, do you? It's like, no, I don't. I'll eat them right up. Oh my.
All right, let's go. I'll bring this into your stall. We need to bring a little bit of bucket of water to add to your water. Ready? Come on, Autumn. Let's go find your babies. Come on, Clyde. <laughs> tomato plants so I need more tomatoes in the greenhouse we got into the greenhouse it was so nice oh that just fed my soul being in the greenhouse I'm telling you I came out of there with the biggest smile on my face I didn't care that I was all hot and sweaty and I melted in there I didn't care that the kids were dirty and I they went home and they were like we got to make mud in the greenhouse I know they had a good time. Not a doubt in my mind they had a good time. So I am going to go get some more tomato seeds, get some seed starter. When I was in Marquette, I bought, I went to the feed store there and I got the, I got a big bag of sunflower seeds. Because next, the 22nd is Earth Day. And so my kindergarten first graders are going to plant sunflower seed in a milk container. We're recycling and reusing and we're planting something that will grow. Eventually I'd like to do something more permanent like a bush or something in there, but okay, it's my first year doing it, so it is what it is. Next year it'll be a little bit better. Year after that it'll be better. So we're hatching eggs for life cycle. We're planting stuff for Earth Day, and I have, with my Thursday, Friday kids, eight more classes with them, and that's it. So, yeah. And then summer's here. Oh, I can't wait. can't wait for fishing. I can't wait to not have to get up so early in the morning. I can't wait to get the stuff done. I have a couple projects. Last year, I got a few of my projects done. This year, I've got some new projects I want to get done. Every year there's always a new project, and then, you know, in 10, 10 years from now, Clyde, he just spilt the milk all over the floor so that they could get to it. Um, 10 years from now, this place will be downright amazing. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good Tuesday. Bye.